Welcome back to this Game Boy Hero. I have Mega Prime and Paul Dot Power. Hello! Howdy! What's happening? Holy shit, Whip. Tails! Calm down. We are entering the arc. We're finally in the last few levels of the hero story. Awesome. Uh, let it be known that I hate these levels, by the way. Also, uh, let it be known, I never got this far in Sonic Adventure 2. I get stuck at Green Forest. <laughs> so this is a whole new experience for me. Congrats. Well, well just, pretend it, just, just pretend it's a game as level, so you will be fine. Yeah, alright, fair enough. I can deal with that. Yeah. Let it be known, this is actually the second worst mech level in the game, because... The enemy will, will be in a couple of minutes, that is the worst. Well, the camera also hates you in these space levels for some reason. I had a, I had a little bit of issue with like, the camera so far, but... I was doing hard mode through this, and it is a bitch to get to be... I can't wait till you get to S rank this one. Uh, I already did. I bet it was fun. Yes, actually, the whole oh, the four, the first four were fine. It was just the last one was a bitch. Yeah. yeah. That camera was a bit odd then. You have to see through walls. Yeah. But then that's better than not being able to see through the wall at all. So. Yep. So anyway, they're tackling uh, the space station, right? Yeah, we're on the first level in the arc. This, yeah, this is the first time we've seen the space station inside of it. Yeah, at least. Uh, in the hero Ooh. story. Yeah, in the hero story. Oh, but Man. most people play that first anyway, I suppose. Whoa, careful now. I played the dark story first because I was like, Shadow, let's see how cool this is. Yeah. I still haven't tried the dark story. I probably should give it. I can't get any further than Green Forest in the hero story. Oh well, yeah, Dark Story is a bit of the harder version. Yeah, yeah but you never know. Yeah, I was saying, the gimmick with this level is mainly just about traps. Uh, see that shadow? Yes. Oh shit, it's a trap. Oh! Yeah, a lot of big moves cool. in the area. This, but most of them are easy to spot if you know what you're doing. But, get on me, I don't see them. Yeah. Those springs don't really seem powerful enough to deal with Tails' mech. Nah. Then we have this though. The one on the left does. Aha! Oh, hey, get that bird. Oh, nearly. Uh. I don't want the bird. Come on. Chow needs to fly. You know you want the bird. Here, he, he, can, already, he can already fly already. He needs to fly better. Yeah. Oh, here he is. Here's the fucker. Yeah. If you can kill them before they uh. attack you, it's usually better off. Yeah. This is artificial chaos. There's a lot of them all over the arc, and they are a bitch to fight. Especially in a mech. Yeah, I, I think Tails has the hardest time with these guys. Yeah. So they're basically Chaos from Sonic Adventure, but... Artificial? Yeah. Fake Chaos. That explains it. They are. Obviously not as powerful as the original. Of course. I think there's the a way... Uh, huh? Sorry, I was just saying, the only thing... The, the only real thing I know about this stage is that... For some strange reason... It's a trope namer on TV tropes. For no reason. It's nope. the. I, it sounds quite. No, it's quite a cool name, I suppose. But it's like the name for levels. Sort of industrial themed levels. That's like the name of the page for. Them. Yeah. Why? I don't know. You know, I never followed the TV trope craziness. I don't know. All right, let's not go into this. <laughs> You're gonna start <laughs> right, a crazy. Right. It's not. It's not. It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. No. Many people have lost their lives. It's so all this level, too. This is the part you gotta be really careful on, too, because Tails, his turning is not so oh. great. His turn's okay when you're not aiming. That's, yeah. that's how it is. It's gets. really easy. I can't tell you how many times I've fallen off these platforms. Only to die. They do. They do look a bit nasty, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Like I saw you clip through that railing, Tails. You can't fool me. Don't go at this moment. He's alive. Still. Oh, uh, yeah, we're not doing the chow key, are we? No, we don't need it. There it was. Yeah, that's the. I think that's the third creep we ran into. So. Legendary animal. Go back the way you came. Mm -hmm. Backtracking. Very fun. Well, you gotta show everything off.
I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm trying to figure out what. Okay. Oh right! The, the, um, the vacuum of space. Yeah. Yeah, some of these doors will try to, try to suck you in. If you do that, you're gonna die. Yeah, that's no good. Yet, when you're out in the open, nothing happens to you. Yeah, it's very, um, I'm not gonna go into it. It's not worth the questioning. <gasps> awesome. You found a thing. You got a thing. We have his bazooka. Now he can break open steel crates. It's just like opening regular crates. But they are gray. Is there any... I guess there are times where that's required. This is a required item. Yep, because we can't go past the door. We can't, we can't even go for any further without it. Doesn't everybody have an item that's not required, though? But yeah, they all have an item. Yeah. What is Tails? I saw a negative. Tails, Tails is the... Um, his upgraded uh, charge shot. That's right. Oh, stick move oh. right here. Every time. Ooh. Every goddamn time. Also, those... um. They're tricky here too, those little bombs on the bottom, if you blow yeah. that up, it blows down the thing right below the crane. It'll suck you into space. Yep, you pretty much, you can't, unless you get really lucky, you can't really grab it. Like I said, big moves. Boxes of health. Really helpful. I'm very upset with you at not throwing that Alma Chow into space. Oh. He goes into space in the A rank in the A rank videos. Awesome. Lots of times. It's like an endless loop. I'm not kidding, by the way. I've heard that sound effect a whole bunch of times. Okay. Uh, when yeah. I was playing, you know, as far as it. Like, he's such an annoying sound effect. Tails just wants to let you know that he hit what he's supposed to be hitting. Yeah, he's just being okay. Okay. I, I, I can take that. This is a big point racking. Well, not this spot, it's this spot up ahead. Oh yeah, there's one spot I remember that when you're trying to S rank, it's the best spot. It's a thing! So every time you hit, what is it, at least 12 things you get a perfect? Okay. Yeah, I think it's 12 as a max. I love how the, the aiming mechanics with Tails are basically just flail around the control stick. I did it! it works the same way for Eggman, but yeah. for, the rest of the, for the rest of the areas I'm doing this in Japan land mode, so... I gotta hear Yosh over and over. Yeah, well. Oh, B, that's not so bad. I was just only about a thousand away from an A rank. Oh, dear. Okay, Sonic! Now put that emerald. <clears throat> Tails! Tell Sonic to meet you back at the research facility! Sonic! Now. Amy is. I, I didn't get that, Tails! What happened to Amy? Oh boy! This is a level that everyone confuses with that other level that everybody hates. Yep. This one doesn't really deserve all the hate you can get. Yeah, everyone's like fucking Meteor Herd, but what they really mean to say is fucking Mad Space. Get it right, people. Don't remind me. Get it right. Please. This level's awesome. Yes, it is. Very fun to A rank, too. It also has a kicking soundtrack. Yeah. But first thing first, we're getting an upgrade for Nux. It's optional one. Yes. Well, optional for the main story. <laughs> Use it for something. Use it for the A ranks, otherwise, it's gonna miss them all. Oops. Hard mode requires you get to get every upgrade you can. Yeah. At least for the uh, treasure hunting. <laughs> not sure you guys gonna love this upgrade, that's for sure. It's I see you're not using yeah. hints. No, I guess it's right there. First one, at least. Get that. Ooh, boy. I gotta admit, I. Oh, these look interesting. Just wear them on your forehead. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. You got <laughs> Sunglasses. Yeah, don't, don't actually put them over your eyes to help you see things you can't see, you've never seen before. They're essentially the we... lens of truth. Oh, you. Oh, okay. You do put them. You do actually put them down to you. Okay. Yeah. You hey, don't forget that. But yeah. They're... Sorry, Sega. <laughs> They're the living true. The crazy thing is that whenever you jump, they come off. Yeah, that is the purpose of the goggles. It's like Knuckles jumps so hard that he flings his sunglasses off. 
Yep. It helps you see springs, rings, item boxes, and the occasional emerald, or not really, they were sticking out though. This is, they're only really useful for hard mode for the emerald hunting. But you can find the only uh, items in the regular levels. Oh, that's oddly specific. I didn't think the first hints were so obvious. Yeah. I think I, I preferred the, the Sonic Adventure 1 system with Knuckles, where you could look for all three emeralds at once. But Yeah, that was in Adventure 1, you could look through all three. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying, I think I prefer that system. Yeah, it's, I kind of miss that going through mad, mad space. Uh -huh. It can really be helpful. Like you said, I, I have to A-rate that, you always have to. Well, good luck. I'm trying, I can, I can even see rate on the first mission. The uh, the fake chaos is not as hard with Knuckles. Uh, some okay, one, the, the blobby kind are kind of nope. tricky. Cold up. Warm up. Yeah. I think it might be on the highest rotating beacon. Close That's up. just a. No, that's. Yeah, hey. there's. Yeah. Beacons. Uh, point of note this is actually the tallest level in the game. It looks it. it. It looks it. It actually is, I think. It is. It is it's the uh, tallest level for. Well, yeah, I didn't. But uh, Mass Space is the biggest level. Mass Space is enormous. Yeah, it's too big for its own good. Well, that was fast. Oh! I found yeah, you make this level pretty quickly, which is, um. What do you see? See, the A rank here is 14,000. Sweet. Yeah, this so that is saves perfect. me one video or one run. So now, where are we off to? Oh, this is. Oh, you're not playing the Dreamcast version. Man. Why? I was waiting for Big! Oh, he's hitting this area? Uh, in the Dreamcast version, you can push a button during this cutscene and Big the Cat will run around the background. Going, what the hell am I doing in space? It's awesome. I love the Dreamcast version. It's big as everywhere. But the loading times, man, it's not really worth it. It's worth it to me. Hmm. Okay, we have our uh, last... Oh, whoa. I'll take it to... No! No, it's the last it's boss fight, Miss Rouge. Well, it's, it's our first and last whoa. fight with Rouge. Although, you'll do it again in the dark story, just backwards. Yep. Hang around, wait for what? Waiting for her special move. Yep. Which I think it's called Quick Wave. I can't really hear. Yeah, it's Quick Wave. Something, something. So basically, just wait for her to come to you and then mash punch button. No, you have to come to her and smack her. Oh. Wow, that was relatively easy for a, a end game boss. What has he got on his hand? They are the hammer gloves. They look like shoes on his hands. That's what people always call them. Or at least the other way around. Oh wow, I set this up because we're gonna see it again in Dark Story. Yeah, well, this is this is much better. I think this is an improvement. Oh, I I I I, I did wonder. Did he kind of? Was, oh right. Yeah. Wait a minute. She fell, yeah. She fell further than that. Don't. Let's not go into it. Right. I have to point these things out. I can't blame you. I do. I say yeah. I'll, this is the um, the other cutscene will be sped up in Dark Store just to compromise. Because uh. this will be our uh, first. This will be then uh, Dark Story five, then Hero Story seven, and then the last Dark Story. I just wanted to hug the Master Emerald. We? Huh. She was. Good after all. <laughs> 41 minutes. Anyway. We're done with every other character in here. Oh, story. this level. This fucking level. Oh. What? The, the gimmick works when it works. Yeah, but the cameras and the gravity and... Oh, I died so many times. It's not as bad as Mad Space. It's... No, but still. Mad Space is just enormous. This one... I don't know, the flipping around with the gravity always killed me. <laughs> well, well, I guess, again, like a lot of things, when it works, it works, and if you know what you're doing, it's pretty dead. Are you saying I don't know what I'm doing? Yes. You're right. 
I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to be diplomatic here and keep out of this argument. No, please. Share your opinion. Join in. No. Well, I did watch that one thing where Pokecat did the level. Oh, yeah. But that's about it. Alright, yeah, this level isn't as bad I as thought. I'm, I'm making it out to be. I'm just saying that because I did really die a lot. That green stuff does look nasty. Yeah, there is a kill. It's a chemical plant all over again. But with well, green liquid. Yeah. Well, you can get instant killed by that stuff, or at least you can fall into bottomless pits below it. Well, the green stuff is a pit. Let's just go with that, because you just fall right through yeah, it. Yeah, it's basically just a recolored pit. Bottomless pits. It's a fancy pit. Bottomless Pits Incorporated, the lead villain of most Sonic games. Oh, you know what else killed me in this game? It was the Dreamcast, because there was a glitch back there in the Dreamcast version where if the camera flipped a, a certain way, you would you would clip through the wall and just fly off into space and die. And it was real easy It was real easy to get it to happen, so I died there a lot. Oh, damn. Oh, that room just passed by. If you take any other route, you're going to pretty much die, except for the, uh, the left one. But if you go right down the middle, you're gonna fall to your death. Oh, you're not using Ouch. the thing. Oh, I no, I'm sorry. Come on. Mind you, wall running is less impressive when gravity actually goes in that direction. Oh. If it does help, if you do fuck this up, there is a rail on the uh, right there. Yeah, that's something. It's very tiny. This is chemical plant too. True. You could say this is actual chemical plant in space. But uh, funny thing, the death, death egg zone in Sonic 2 was supposed to be chemical plant in space. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. This is reuse sprites. Certainly, what they tend to do in in Rompets a bit as well. Uh, that Rompet. Are hey, you happy? I got your bouncy ball. Yes. Do you have that attack where you charge up the spin dash and kill everything in the room? I had that for Shadow, but I don't have that for Sonic. Oh, that's the attack I was using in that one room where they all spill around. You just fly around uh, like yeah, a madman for like five minutes. <laughs> uh, I might use. I might try that for uh, the last level. Yes. All right. So we got an item. Oh yeah, the fire storm assault. And it's just it's it breaks two crates. Yeah. So it's like that one that ta was it Tails or Knuckles got? Every character has an item that can break steel crates. Yeah, Knuckles had those shoes ah. on his fist. That's what breaks the steel crates. Yeah. And Sonic can now uh, just uh, ball bounce crates and break them too. Right. Oh, you have to have the light dash. Oh, there they are again. I won't lie, I got, I got this with a bomb. Lull towards you. Oh, less impressive than it might otherwise have been. So you can go around and kill all the little guys, or you can just kill the head, which kills all of them off. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that does that. Is there any kind of points bonus for doing them one at a time? or You do get points for killing enemies, so I guess if you want to rack up points, you can do that. But it would kill your time. Unless you use the spin yeah. dash thing I was talking about. Also, my hatred for chaos was bigger and bigger. Yeah, I hate those things. Those ones, I remember, those ones in that room are particularly awful. I just hate the period. They're just fucking hard to hit sometimes. Yeah. Especially when you're in a mech, really, because you don't have a lot of movement to go around and avoid them. I've I mean, also just realized those announcements that Robotnik's saying, they're like the forerunners for the ones from Sonic Colors. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Less entertaining because they just, you will die! <laughs> More threat. Emergency. Emergency. Yeah. That, was, that wasn't that much of an announcement. You sounded pretty bored. What are you going back for? There's an emergency oh, the going on. I, I missed a button. Well done, <laughs> No one will ever know. Whoa. So we're in the, the last part of the level, thankfully. Gravity gimmicks. 
Oh boy. This part is fun. It's a giant 3D maze. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> oh, I got lucky right there. Yeah, you did. You almost flew into space there. So, I'm one, do these things just have their own gravity? Uh, what? These Chaos? big platforms, they have their own gravity or something, because what else would be pulling Sonic to them? He's, I'm taking it just the entire area that does. It's he's out in space. Uh, it's directional gravity. Was that a shortcut you just took? Uh, no, well, I want to get an item. Fell, that's right. Yeah. In a sense, everything has been having its own gravity in this stage. It's not just these blocky things. Yes. I think it's just the art just doing its thing. I mean, I think there's a lot more of this in Shadow, but I wouldn't remember. Uh, yeah. Sh you know, Shadow's space level is pretty fun, too. They have their fun. Mess up gravity. Well, the ideas are fun, just the actual, um, inflammation. That's so. right. Oh, wait, the other... Okay, I'm thinking of the other space level. The fine... I can't really... I shouldn't say it, but... That would spoil the final, things, but yes. The final level in this game or the final level in Shadow's game? The final level in the each story for Sonic and Shadow. Oh, um, oh that was probably... No, I don't have to worry about those. Oh, Final it. Rush and Final something else. But I was talking about Shadow's own game, his own space Oh, levels, that's so. that, yes, that game. Thing in a book. Yeah, Wait, I've just worked it out. This this level is... um. This is the, the arc scientist's attempt to design a planetary defense system based on Tetris. Exactly! Got it. Yep. Oh, he go that way, you get two one The only problem is, he could be destroying the world, but he could never find that fucking long piece. I, I keep regretting this every time I go by. If you grab almost Chow to the exit rink, it will say something, but I forgot. Oh, anyway. I've lost faith in you. Yes. I can do it in the air rinks, but it'll be Japanese. Have fun translating. Well, you got through the thing. C. Oh, I was wrong. It was a B. Too easy. Piece yeah, I don't remember the update in here or after the cutscene. Let's, let's see. Let's take care of business first, shall we, Sonic? Hand over the Chaos Emerald, slowly, and then we'll talk about your girlfriend. That is, if you really care for her. In the old fake emerald, I can kill two birds with one stone. Put the emerald down right there and back off. Time villain doctor. <laughs> Whoa. You thought you could trick me with that fake emerald, didn't you? So, how did you know it wasn't the real world? Tails! <laughs> because you just told me, Fox Boy. For a little space ride. That will clear the colony bad. I'm counting on you, Tails. Amy, take care of yourself. Farewell, Sonic the Hedgehog. And that should be the end of the update. We'll have the oh. final hero story after two parts. So, this is Game Boy Hero. My two guests will see you for 
Dark Five. Later. Bye bye. Here comes your friend. Huh? You mean Sonic? He'd be a fool to challenge me. You're the fool, not Sonic. You'll see I'm right. This is one battle your friend cannot win. Sure is a lonely place. I suspect that no one has been here since the accident occurred 50 years ago. We have a big problem. How do we destroy that weapon when we find it? Here, why not give this a try? A Chaos Emerald? Well, it's not a real one. I made a copy to help power the X-Tornado. It doesn't have the same power as a real Chaos Emerald, but if we put it in with a real one, it might cause some kind of reaction and mess up the whole system. Okay, if this little baby does the trick, it'll be goodbye Eclipse Cannon. Get some light on things! I will set your friend free under one condition. Give me the emerald, and I'll give you the girl. Let's see. Give me a minute to think it over. What do you mean, think it over? Well, perhaps this might make you think faster. Got it! It's a deal. Place the emerald in the center of that circle. I guess it's just like that old saying, easy come, easy go. Oh well. Prepare to be blown into space, my little blue friend! No, wait! What if I promise to give you a real Chaos Emerald? What's that? You mean to tell me that Chaos Emerald is a counterfeit? Uh... I shall make Sonic pay for your deception, you crafty creep! You let oh. Sonic go right now! Hey! It's okay. Sonic. You're in charge, pal. All right? Now, Sonic, it's time to say goodbye. Sonic, no! You're blubbering and hand over that emerald. I can't sit here all day waiting for your crocodile tears to dry. I won't let you down, Sonic. I'll never give him what he wants. Huh? Huh? I'll be strong. I won't let myself run away this time. Amy, Mr. Tanaka, stay out of the way. Amy, follow me. <laughs> You've tried my patience for far too long. You asked for it.